fellow collectors. My name is Chris and today I'm be honored to give you a guest review of this amazing piece from Prime One for Chris, the Batman statue collector on his channel. It's all about Cyborg from Prime One from the Justice League one third scale line from the movie. So let's see. So here we have the base. The base is really, really huge. Uh, not so heavy as I thought, um, but incredible in detail. Uh, I think it's based on Apocalypse, the homeworld of the main villain Steppenwolf. You can see it from the horns all uh, around the base. Uh, it's pretty similar to the horns that Steppenwolf had on his head in Batman vs Superman. Not the Justice League step more maybe in the early concepts um, but it, it looks really 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 awesome I like it I really really like it and the cool thing is uh, the, the entire line has it and so they will really really well shown up together So this is a backside, yeah, they're all little secrets here. This is the Justice League star on the backside of the base. So now let's go on top. Cyborg stands on a rock. So really sculpted well. Looks nice, really, really good. Like a rock should look. <laughs> so go on. There we have the feet. And what I can say about this statue is, uh, it, it it has amazing details. You can see it now on the knee, uh, on on the foot. There are all uh, these little uh, elements from uh, the, the the cybernetic, the robot part. Really, really cool. There. Yeah. Look at this. So awesome. You can see that's what Prime One makes for me the best statue company. There, you 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 can look on the statue an entire time and you find another another amazing little things, details us about the statue. So here we have the stomach the chest with the, this cool light up function many uh, discussions were on the forums uh, it is so bright no i think it's not so bright it, it depends uh, all on the lightning you have in, in your room where the statue stands um, that's all, all about many many discussions were also on the color on the color and the paint of cyborg many said it looks too um, plastic maybe to silver i think no it looks depends on the movie and he looks like raw steel uh, you must think it's, it's an, an early cyborg it's not a cyborg from the comics where he's established he is on the beginning of his journey and uh, in the movie and so prime one did well amazing job and captured the likeness from the movie look at this all these details when you look, you, you you can think he's on the move. He, you, you wait for the moment when he turns his head or looks at you. It's incredible. And here we have the awesome light up feature from the head. And at first I thought, oh, okay, is it too bright? Because it shines a little bit through the resin of the uh, human face side. You can see this here. But um, then I, I watched again uh, parts from the movie where Cyborg was shown up, uh, and it, it, it is so. In the movie, you, you see that it shines through this human side, not, not every time, but in, in many angles, you can see this. And so Prime One captured this perfect. And here we have the backside, the shoulders. Awesome. Look at these details. Uh, just like I said before, it looks like steel, metal, how a cyborg should look. So now let's talk about the head. The head 
is amazing. They did an, an amazingly sculpt of uh, Ray Fisher. Um, he looked like him in the movie. Incredible detail. The eye, the eye has little veins in it. You, you can see, and nose, mouth, everything. Really, really well done. Job, crazy, crazy in my opinion. So it's like the um, scouts for maybe the Suicide Squad. They blow me away. Will Smith looks like Will Smith, and in this case, Ray Fisher looks like Ray Fisher. Awesome. This is the exclusive edition from Cyborg. He comes with an additional hat. Um, really nice. Not my favorite hat. This is my favorite hat. And uh, you can see when I show up the statue in detail why. This is uh, for me uh, personally a really amazing piece because we got this only scene in the trailer for Justice League, in the first trailer, when Zack Snyder was on the movie b before he was removed. And yeah, it's really a mess. We have all the additional swap outs for the arms. These amazing weapon arms, really incredible in detail. So I will switch and up, switch them out for you, that we could see that. So here we have them with the weapon arms and the exclusive head. Really looking nice. <laughs> Cyborg fully reloaded, ready to battle. Yeah, and this is really cool about the statue, the, the, the pose. Yeah, in the movie we had several scenes, uh, maybe as example when they um, bring Superman back. No oh, spoiler here, no. <laughs> and yeah, he shoots with his left arm with his cool blue beam. You can see here on the weapon, which is a really well done light up feature. And yeah when you switch out the arms and put on the exclusive head it, it looks really different he looks like a little bit uh, as another another sta statue really well done like i said before it's a really mess we couldn't see this head in the movie only in the first trailer yeah so it personally is um yeah you, you don't need the exclusive when you like the character so it, it looks really good it looks really well but uh, for me uh, as a I, I like the movie so um maybe i liked more what it had could become and so the statue is uh, it stands a little bit for me in that ca in this case so we uh, have here the switch for the light up. Yeah, the position of the switch is not the best position in my opinion. I I, I thought it would maybe be better when it was on the back side or so. Uh, yeah, it, it looks like when you switch a lamp on or off on, on the front and yeah, it's okay. So here we have the incredible detail. Look at it. In the knees, you can see, uh, yeah, the moving parts of the machine. So, yeah, here he is. So, f I would give this statue a nine plus out of ten. It is amazing. It looks incredible. The details. I, I really love him. He looks like Ray Fisher from the movie, like from, uh, Cyborg from the movie. Incredible. A good nine of ten. Amazing statue. Prime one. Well, well done. Amazing job. Can't wait for the rest. So here we have him on his place in my cinema room, and you could see the places. With some placeholders for the rest of the line. Yeah, an amazing piece. So, this is my review of Cyborg from the Justice League line from Prime 1. 
an amazing piece, incredible detail. I hope you like what you see. And thanks for watching and maybe we see you soon on this channel for another guest review when the entire gang arrives. I hope they ship soon. So thank you.